Alrighty boys, how you's doing? How you's doing this fine, fine day? It was a surprisingly great grey day that's turned into a lovely sunny one. But I am spending it inside playing Scooby a uh, fucking Scooby Doo Game Boy Color game. Let's fucking go boys. So my partner is a big well sorry, my partner played this game as a kid and never actually finished it. So I was just sort of thinking what games could I play for Spooky September and I didn't want to just play purely horror games. Well, you know, horror themed games I want to keep it at. But I didn't want to like, you know, just play survival horror games. So I was like, wait, how loose can I get with this? And the answer is, a Scooby Doo adventure game on Game Boy Color. But I, I've never, I played this game a tiny bit, but I've never got past like, the fucking basically the starting screen. So I just thought we'd dig in this and see how, how it goes. Enjoy that fucking 8 bit Scooby Doo theme. So this is based on Scooby Doo Where Are You? Which I'm trying to think, this came out 2000, it said. That would have been around the time of Zombie Island and uh, the James Gunn movie. So uh, here we go Scooby Doo Classic. What's the options? What can we, what can we do in the options? Tech speed fast. There we go. So let's dig right in. I'm gonna try voice act everyone by the way. Watch this. Museum's jewels now. Ghoul jewels. Another ghastly grab by the ghost thief. Ghost thief defi defies gravity. Stop thief! I might need to change this. Jekyll Labs fire files for chapter eleven. So we made it out. The mystery machine's out of gas. We just made it. The mystery's out of gas. Looks like a trail ends here too. This sure is a creepy place for a mystery. And I suppose you thought the thief would be doing business out of a shopping mall. God, Fred, such a dick. Oh right, right. It's the Jekyll Mansion, you know, where Doctor Jekyll made the potion that turned him into the evil Mister Hyde. All this talk's making me hungry. I want some cheese. <laughs> Come on, gang, let's see if we can get a look inside. What are you kids doing here? We are chasing a thief when our van broke down. Ah, you mean the ghost? G -g ghost? Relax, Shaggy, there's no such thing as ghosts. Do you know anything about the goat? I mean, thief, sir? As a matter of fact, I do. Come in. Scoop and I will wait outside of the creepy house while you guys talk thing things out. I was working on a potion similar to one of my father worked on. Well, that turned him into a monster? Yes, I took great care in trying to not repeat the mistakes he made. Unfortunately, financing the lab has been difficult recently. I've read that the government hands out research grants to labs all of the time. They did, and it led to our invention of electric light. You invented the electric light? Yes, well, okay, we may have not been the first or even the best, but we did make a light then two years ago. We started working on a horseless carrot car. Yes, anyway, we stopped uh, receiving grants after that ill-fated Frankenstein experiment. Let me guess, try to bring a corpse back to life? No. Well, sort of. We tried to bring a hot dog back to life, beef frank and so on. Beef Frankenstein? Oh dear. That's not important. Uh, we were broke, had to start using materials. I used some materials from my father's experiment. Once I finished the test solution, I started to feel dizzy. Dizzy? Yes, well the room went dark and I woke up here, apparently after a big jewelry robbery downtown. So you think you're the ghost thief? I can't rule out the possibility, but the thief looks like the ghost of my father. Daphne and I will look around upstairs. Well, let me see if you can find any clothes down here. Shaggy and Scooby should be quite alright outside. I sure I'm glad you stayed outside here, Scooby. So yeah, it's... Actually, I'm going to see... Can I enter the options? Because the text is way too quick. I might have to restart here, just to get the... Because either I'm not going to be able to breathe in between the... Actually, what I'll do is I might restart just so I can fucking breathe in between the cutscenes. So, yeah, ignore all this. Add the nostalgia. Yeah, like I said, it's a game I never play as a kid, but... We'll, fin we'll, we'll finish it. We'll try to finish it in one sitting. So, options. Text me to normal, because I'm not making that mistake. Holy shit. Pardon me. Wait, can we skip this? We cannot. So anyway, uh, Mr. Hyde's son, or Dr. Jekyll's son, is working on a potion, and there's a, a jewel thief about that we are chasing. 
Right, let's try that. Let's try the voices. Who needs Troy Baker or Ashley Johnson or fucking Matt Mercer? Stop, thief. Here we go. It's coming. We just. I was gonna voice now. Mister Me is out of gas. I, I forget what their voices are. I can't do Velma's now. Nah, this show is a, cre a creepy place for a mystery. I suppose you. Oh my god. I suppose you thought the thief would be doing business out of a mall. Fucking big sexist Fred. Narso. He certainly had more of my attention if he did. It's the Jekyll Mansion, you know, where Dr. Jekyll. Wait, so Dr. Jekyll's re like, Jekyll and Hyde is real within this reality. And also, I thought it was set in London. Ah oh, well. Like, all this talks make me hungry. I want some cheese. Oh yeah, forget Shaggy's a vegetarian. <laughs> I can, the, only one, the only voice I can even think of doing is being Shaggy. And even then, nah, no damn it. Right, right, we get it. So you think there's. So you. Uh, I'm just gonna think you're the jewel thief because. You know. You're all Daz, but you got. Also, is waiting out in the fucking dark in a, a, by an abandoned highway, is that probably the best place to wait instead of going into a house? I mean, I guess a creepy house, but. Look at that photo of a Victorian child. I sure I'm glad we stayed out here, Scooby. Right, so what I'll do is. So you can change characters, so we can go Daphne, Fred, Velma, or Scooby and Shaggy. Let's have a wee wander about. Fred's flared trousers, we'll have a wee look at. Jekyll! Wonder whose house this is. You try to get cheaper Wi Fi. This offer to leave and then straight away though. Mansion or lab. But this reminds me of uh there's an adventure game called I think it's Maniac Mansion. Really reminds me of that. Excuse me, I have a cough there. Uh let's go Fred. Fred with the big flares. Look at that posture, Fred. Why have I big sign like a secret lab? How else are you gonna know a secret lab? What's that? Look. Oh I forget you can Wait, how do I change Maybe Velma would know what these symbols mean. Daphne. Whoa. What was it? It said Daphne. Oh, the eyeballs. Oh yeah, it means look at something. Right, fuck it, let's go Daphne. Whereabouts is Daphne? There she is. I fa oh! Oh! Oh, Fred's floating. Dan looks like you're a grope Daphne. I used to fancy the fuck out of Daphne as a kid. Oh, what's that? Front door. Why is the clock chiming? It's 30 minutes past the hour. Oh no, it's a big nonsense ghost. I wonder what that ghost is up to in there. Let's have a wee gander. Uh, right, man, wait, go on. There we go, open the door. Fred, let's see what the ghost is up to in here. Where'd the, go where'd the ghost go? She's so calm, I've seen the fucking jewel thief. She's just like, okay, toilet, uh, on the can either. Yeah, let's just put our hands in the toilet and grab whatever's in there. What do you see, Daphne? This teleporter has a flush handle. I wonder what will happen if I... Hey, Fred, help me, I can't move! Oh fuck, Daphne's just been vaporised. Well, I thought I'd figure out what you kids are up to. You'll make a great... ...subject for my experiment. Oh Jesus Christ, Daphne's getting experimented. You won't get very far, Fred's on his way to save me right now. Chapter 1, It's a Mystery. So we to save Daphne from the evil Dr. Jekyll. But wait, we just seen Dr. Jekyll and we seen Mr. Hyde. Anyway. I wonder who the bad guy is. I wonder. Daphne? Right, so... Have we got to go find Daphne just to... 
maybe I'll have a week, just a wee gander around the mansion, have a week, have a wee look around. It's locked. Just like every Resident Evil game. Oh! Ah yes, the usual laboratory disco ball. Uh, symbol, have we got Maybe I'll Velma know what these symbols mean. Is that a hint to change the Velma? Look at that. Swagger. Look at that. Fred, trapdoor. Oh. Hmm, I wonder where this trapdoor leads to. If this was like Mystery Incorporated Freddy, you'd be go fucking mental right now, seeing a trap. By the way, if you haven't watched Mystery Incorporated, it's so fucking good. Rope. Let's diddle the rope. I can't think of one reason to take that. Shut up, Fred. Wait, we're, we're leaving you. We're going to Velma. Kieran fancies the fuck out of Velma. She's so calm. Yeah, she's been kidnapped and she's very calm about Right, uh... So have a wee gander about is it look at that small Victorian child, look at that photo of fucking Timothy Chalamet up there. Is that how you say his name? That's weird. There's a good Tesla coil in the backyard. Ah uh, Tesla coil can transmit electricity through the air without any wires. I wonder what needs cordless electricity. Why are they green? It's probably just making them stand out, but yeah, she does look a bit... Yeah. They almost been replaced by some sort of alien. Let's look at that walk. I mean, don't get me wrong, I, uh... That, that is a game, it is meant to be on a Game Boy Color screen, which is maybe like... 6 inches wide? Not even that? No, maybe like 4 inches wide or something like that. She's got Doc Ock glasses, that's it. So I'm trying to figure out how to use the door. There we go. Oh, what's going on here? Let's have a wee gander through here. Oh, look at that. We're in the main corridor now. Symbol. I wonder if the symbols have anything to do with the door to the laboratory. Oh. Symbol has the word sticky written under it. So, did Fred not see the symbol? Can we go meet up with our characters? Alright, Fred, how you doing? I can't think of one reason to take that. Not oh, well. Oh, so it's like I can... Can I go with Daphne then? Shaggy, Scooby, Fred... Nah, no Daphne. The best character, not letting us play the best character. Right, so where was I going? I remember the kitchen area being really cosy. I will have a wee gander about the whole place just to... This was in a weird point of school because I remember this game getting promoted. Uh, well, I bought a. For some reason, I bought this magazine when uh, Scooby Doo 1 came to video. And it was this big sort of Scooby Doo retrospective talking about like the history of all the shows and all that and the. and all the games and stuff. I remember seeing this game and being like, wow, it looks really cool. Never played it, but. I remember because I played. Scooby Doo actually got a pretty good game because I remember playing. Uh, fuck, what was that one? A cyber Chase game, which was. The word cranium is underneath the strange symbol. I remember there being a like Cyber Chase game is just a Crash Bandicoot clone, and a not bad one at that. Then there's oh uh, Shaggy should be around here. Mister isn't over yet. I should stay in the property until we've solved it. Uh, then there so there's Cyber Chase, which is a Crash Bandicoot clone, which is fine. Then there was uh, a couple of ones on the PS2, which were like platformers, which were pretty good. Plant. These plants sure look healthy. You sure are the brains, Velma? Right, so what am I doing here? What am I doing? Let's have a wee gander about, uh... Right, so... Let's do here. Let's have a wee, a wee gander about just to kind of get ourselves... Book. It's a huge encyclopedia of cheese from Awaki to Wensleydale. Are they actually making a Silent Hill 2 remake? Aye, rumour is that it's uh, Team Blooper, I think, who done uh, Layers of Fear, The Medium, uh, 
What other games do they make? But that's the rumour that it's them doing it. This word's very tight between all the other books. I can't move it. I'm gonna get Fred with big man hands to do it. Oh, well. The tunes on hold to BT are really good. Ah, better than the fucking... I'm gonna give up in a minute and try tomorrow. Aye. Right. You'll be... You'll think the tunes are alright for the first little bit, bit, and then by, like, what, like... 30 or 40 minutes in, you'll be demented. Also, you've got a one giant photo of... Let's just assume this is Jekyll's house. You as a lovely doctor, and then you as your murderous, like a murderous, rapist, evil doppelganger, Mr. Hyde. Again, not that I've not read uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde for years, but I assume that's what happens, yeah. There's something strange about his skull. Go and touch it in. Did it. Right, where to now? Let's have a wee gander around here. So I'm just going to explore the whole place. Clock. I'm not sure what time to set it to. Well, I wonder if that'll come in handy later on. I'm just opening all the doors. It's locked. Oh look, this is, the, this is the kitchen area that you're talking about, Megan. I'm not opening that door. It smells really bad in there. Probably cheese. Money on all paper. Symbol. I wonder if symbols have anything to do with the door to the lab. The lab. The word Detroit is written underneath the strange symbol. I don't have anything to clean. Oh. Right, so I assume I have to find something to clean as well and stick it in there. Again, this is very maniac mansion. I've got a sausage. Take. I'm not hungry right now. Well, I know someone that will be. But I'm glad we gander about first. Oh, we're in the ballroom. Not ballroom, the dining table. Don't know why I said ballroom. I think I just need a stool. Might as well take it now and hope I find a leg later. Right, so I have to find a leg for the stool. Eat, just eat some stranger sausage that you think. No, you don't even cook it, just... Just start munching. Maybe I should just. I'm gonna look up all these uh, symbols. The word handle is underneath the strange symbol. So I got a feeling that's like the code word. I still really like some uh, puzzle games like this in Thimbleweed Park. I am getting this at a Thimbleweed Park. But there's another game that's mainly because it's set in a similar place called Maniac Mansion that I get a kind of similar vibe from as well. The word elk is underneath the strange symbol. It's locked. So how far did you get in this game when Dark Side Detective, that's one you've been playing a lot recently, isn't it? Oh, what's this? Curtain? Let's have a wee gander. Towel. Oh, a symbol. We look at that. All these symbols have anything to do with the door. The word bean, oh dear. Is written underneath the strange symbol. Have we got all the symbols? Hmm. Right, so I've, I've looked into this symbol. The word has the word fish underneath it. Do, do I have like a notepad or. No, I've just got a towel and a. I'm just carrying with a towel and a stool. Right. As you do, Velma. Wait, it's locked. This one locked as well. Right, cool, let's head downstairs with. God, these fucking walk animations. Like, I met Megan, uh, I met my partner in the garage, so imagine, like, her dance the wind just seeing me come up to her like this. Yay! Oh, so fucking creepy. Right. So, I've, I've done this symbol, haven't I? Let's just. Got that one. Is there any I've missed through here? Because I think that's the gimmick of this one, just to find the. It's a weird Victorian child, right? Any symbols around here? Nope. 
How long worst music sends me insane? That's outside, so Velma just has a wee freak when you go outside. Oh, there's a symbol up there. I've done that one. Velma just doesn't get very happy when I try and leave. Right, so... Hmm, where to now? Clock. That is not the right time. Not sure what time to set it to. I I'm wonder if this one of the puzzles, like, you'd use your internal... No, no, the Game Boy Color didn't have an internal clock, did it? So I just hit the microphone there with my hand, because my eyes itchy. Yeah, the Game Boy Color didn't have an internal clock. It was only with the... Did they have advanced have an internal clock? Am I making that up? There's going to be a lot of me wondering, much like my Resident Evil playthroughs. Book. Right, I looked up that one. There's something in here that I've not caught yet. Right, she can't move that book. Book. It's a weird poem where Mark played the last word in each line is circled. Each line of the poem ends in one of the words that appear next to the symbols in this house. Oh! Right, so... I looked at symbol, didn't I, already? The words below uh, the symbol appear in the poem. I wonder if there's some kind of code. The symbol has the word sticky written under it. Aye, but if I could see the poem, then maybe that would, you know, correlate to it. Or I'd be able to sort it out. Anyway, boys, how fucking good is Zombie Island in that series of move? Actually, wait, I'm going to try the lab. Sticky. I know, I, I've got a secret code using these secret symbols and I've chosen to go with the word sticky and fish and beans. Right, so I think I'm start. much like there is an evil mansion, I'm starting to get a layer of this in my head. So I'm looking to get outside, that's no... Kay's new this sticky fish and beans. Oh, well, right, there's a the front door. Right, I'm gonna try the lab, see if I can get there. Oh, but look at that siren. These sirens are sure to go off if I use the wrong code. Keypad. The symbols in the keypad are the same as the ones all over the house. There are some strange symbols in this keypad. I sure hope I have the right code. It worked! Well, I didn't have to... I didn't even have to do anything. Good work, Velma. Let's go take a look inside. I think I'd rather return this book before someone notices. Good idea. I'm gonna uh, see if I can find out where Daphne has... ...disappeared to. You know, working... Like, I know splitting up's your gimmick, but... Look at her slowly stoting away. Chapter 2. Booze Clues. So yeah, Scooby-Doo was shite for years, let's be honest here. Because the old Scooby-Doo who, like, uh, what's it called? Uh, Scooby-Doo, where are you? It's basically a game of Mad Libs. You know, it's the same script where the, the gang go to blank and meet blank. They then find out there is a blank terrorising the place. And, you know, it almost hits the same. Oh! Uh, Shaggy? Shaggy? I wonder what's gotten into him. I better find a way out of here. I don't know about you, Scoop, but I'm starving. As creepy as this mansion is, there's a much better chance of finding food in there than out here. Shaggy's away to go on a hunt. Also, time to break and enter and raid someone's... Oh my god, Scooby shot himself with that walk, that walk cycle. But, uh, it's, uh, it's time to raid this person's house for food. Let's fucking do this. So I assume I've got to go to the lab, but I'm just going to go into the kitchen and grab that stuff first. Because I'm sure it'll come in handy later on. 
Where was the kitchen? I left all the doors open that I could just so I could. There we go. Bridge. Sausage. Take. Cabinet. Open. There's a lot of bottles of vanilla extract in here, but someone's glued them all to the shelf. The only one I can move is this bottle of cow extract. Oh, fuck. What the fuck is cow extract? Yes, yeah, Scoob. I smell it too. You've got the better nose. Where's it coming from? To the right? Wait, his right? Or... Like, I think I found a new clone, Scooby. Sink. What's in the sink? I don't have anything to clean. Right, uh... To the right? What did they smell like? Locked. Is it a plant? Even the plants in this uh, house look are nervous about this creepy mansion. Right, uh So we've We've got the sausage. Oh, we've all got a shared inventory. So we've got a sausage, a towel, extract, a book, and a stool. Uh I shall change the velma and I'll go put the book back, because that's what Oh, it can only be Shaggy or uh Fred. Right. Where to now? So yeah, like, like I said before, Scooby-Doo was seen as pretty shite for years, I think. You know, and then the interest, like, side characters like scooby Dumb and Sha and uh, Scrappy, and all that to try and revitalise it. But, nah, nothing ever sort of clicked. And then they went, they were making a, I think it was a SWAT Cats movie they were trying to make. And then they went and actually has a big go away thing. Yes, yeah, Scoop, I smell it. You've got the better nose. Where's it coming from? To the left? Wait, what do you mean to the left? Anyway, so they're making a SWAT Cats movie and they decided, oh, here, let's make a Scooby Doo movie instead. And they had a Japanese studio doing the animation and they thought, oh, right, let's not treat kids like idiots and actually try and make something special at this franchise. And they did with Zombie Island. And while the other movies are good, I don't think any of them actually got ever as good as Zombie Island. Actually, I take that back. The Hex Girls appearing in The Witch's Ghost with Tim Curry. That's good shit right there. But I'm not a huge fan of the Cyber Chase. I think that's a bit, that's probably on the weaker side. Oh my god, they're shaggy clones, what the fuck? Like, it's good, the guards look just like me. If I, I need to find a lab, coat, glasses, and start growing a moustache so I can fit in. Right, so I can't go in. Otherwise, they just get terrified again. Right, so I need to go find a lab coat, glasses, and... Right, here we go. Let's go have a wee gander. And then I remember like that, that CG movie came out, the new one. And I was like, oh, maybe that'll be alright. No, it's fucking shite. Don't watch it. The only good thing about it is Dick Dastardly, Dick Dastardly is a villain. That's the legit only good thing about it. Apart from that, the movie's just fucking shite. Right, where are we going now? Oh, it's Velma. Wait, wait, what the fuck? Was that eat? Like, Velma, what are you doing? I'm trying to find the exact place that I got this book from. I don't want anyone to notice that it's been missing. Uh, did I put the book? How did I bring the menu up? Right, the note's marked, right, cool. Have a gab, is that the same thing she does? Yeah, same, same conversation. Wait, what'd they say? That noise was... What'd they, what'd they say there? I wasn't looking at the screen. Thanks Shaggy, you tried to give us a, a hint there, but I wasn't listening. Skull. Something strange about that skull. Yeah, but... Cannot investigate it, cannot have a wee gander. Right, so I'm looking for... Book, what's this? Pledge very tell you to know all our books, I can't move it. 
Right, we'll come back to that. So I'm looking for a lab coat, a moustache and glasses. Locked. Oh yeah, these ones are always locked. Cannot find a lab coat in here. Sink. Have we gander? It's a very dirty sink. Toilet. What's this? I don't need to use the toilet right now. Maybe Velma will notice him. I've already sorted that out. Hmm. What? Oh, wait, no, it's open. Oh! Who are you? Helga. This place will never be clean. Someone made a mess downstairs earlier and I spent half an hour cleaning it up. Uh, never mind Helga, I'm just going to raid this room. It's a note from Dr. Jekyll. Helga, I'm sorry but there simply isn't enough money to continue the beauty potion experiments. Besides, I don't have a good test subject. You're looking a bit scrawny. I know I'm starving. I've eaten things that are bigger than you. I bet you have. I bet you have. Oh dear. Yes, give a smell it too. You've got the better nose. Where's it coming from? To the left? Yeah, but you can keep saying to the left and stuff. Oh, pillow. There's a box hidden under the pillow. The lockbox, what's in the lockbox? Not well, she's here. Uh, oh wait, I can't take the lockbox away, I need to get rid of Helga. I've got no time to talk, no time to talk. this house isn't going to clean itself right, so I need to get Helga out somehow. Oh no, wait, so, she, so if I try and touch the note, she's like... It's a small box, you don't say. Right, uh Hmm. Right, uh what's the picture? Let's have a weekend with that. You were an acrobat? Yes, and I was the best ever. Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't the camera supposed to add temp Oh Jesus Christ, boys, come on. Not take it away. Mind your own business. Look at them be body shaming this poor lady. Shaggy and Scooby are arseholes. Right, so let's have a wee gander about. Locked. Right, what what to do, what to do? So it seems that some... Like, it said to the left, didn't it? Scooby's nose. So maybe I'll head downstairs and just keep heading left. Right, is this door open yet? Right, where's it, where's it coming from? Oh. Locked. Oh well. Right, we're, in the we're back in the kitchen. Nothing to do, do here. Like, I guess that's a way you can get a hints thing, but I wish it was a button you could press as opposed to... You know... Oh! Oh wait, I forget to select to... Choose character and stuff. But I wish that the... Wait, what is this? Sausage. It's a link sausage genetically is engineered to build strong legs. What? Book, uh... Extract. I think I can get, uh, biasing. I think I can get by with one thing smelling like a cow. What? Doesn't seem to work. Right, so I'm very confused. But again, that is adventure games, you know. Oh, a chute! What's this? It's a laundry chute. Probably leads to the basement. Um, There goes the towel. Put a Let's put the sausage down. No, Scooby. Sweaty fuck. Right, shoot. Uh, right, so I can't put the sausage down in the chute. Oh well. Right, there's Velma. I'm going to talk to Velma, see if she's got any idea. Hey Velma, what are you doing? Oh, it's the same thing about the book. Right, here we go. Let's wait for him to give us the hint. Right, where's it coming from? And then Scooby's just not telling us. What a prick. Right, 
Right, so... I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit confused as to where to go. Right, so I've talked to Helga. Hmm... Trap door. Basement's down there. Can I take the rope? Can't think of one reason to take that. The rope's holding the curtain. Oh, we'll come back to that, I'm sure. Wait, this is the weird fucking Tesla coil toilet. There's Helga in there. No time to talk. The house isn't going to clean itself, right? So, have we done everything in here? Maybe I can give Helga something? Take a sausage? No, doesn't want a sausage. Doesn't want yeast extract. Got a book. I might... Oh fuck, have I... do I just need to put the book back? Is that it? Fucking useless scoobies. I'm asking where, uh, where to go and he's just sitting there looking at me. Wait, where's the library? Is the library down... Downstairs? I think this is where the library is. Right, so the book was here. Right, so he doesn't want to do that. All he wants to do is just say that the... He's got poems, so I don't think I need to put the book back. Where do I go then? Right, so door. Lock. Door. Locked. I'm still. I'm so lost. Where am I going? I've watched the guy beat this game in 15 minutes. And I've been at this for half an hour and I'm so fucking lost. Where am I going? Wait, like dining table. Been in here. Yeah, I'm not the best way. Oh, people are outside. Lily. Oh, Lily's barking. Lily, oi. Down you get. I'm absolutely terrible at... There's a right, strange Victorian boy. Where are you? What's going on? Right, so there's nothing here. Is there something I've forgotten? Something really obvious? So I need to get Helga out. So I can get the lockbox. How would I get a maid out of the out of the room that she's camped out in? Get a picture, I talk about the acrobat and the fat shamer because Scooby and Shaggy are awful people. Helga, uh talk. And there's nothing that I can use with Helga, is there? I genuinely might be stuck here. I don't see what I have to do at all. Right, two seconds, I am getting the guide up. Right, so there's a door on the far left, supposedly. So I'm going to use every door. It's locked. Oh, wait. No, fuck off. That was... That was locked last time I checked. Oh, well. Who, oh, God. What are you doing here? Never mind. Where's the food? These two strange guys just barge it. Uncle modified you so you wouldn't need food. I guess I... Should bring you back to the lab. Like, Scoobus kept us as confused with someone else. <laughs> so who are you, this strange child? We're chasing a ghost thief when our van broke down here, so I barged into your house and stole and got steel food. Oh, you look a lot like those guards in the labs. Me? Yeah, well, just a little. Is the vet house girl with you? Yes. 
She's in trouble. She's been using the experiment in the labs. Why do we leave all the Scooby Snacks with her? Is that all you care about? Shaggy, she might be getting fucking cut up and using some sort of experiments. Scooby, she's caught in a trap. Better go find her. Boy, ever eat a new Scooby another Scooby snack? Oh dear. Good luck, but I don't know how you're gonna get past the guards. Let's just ransack this. Oh. Well, we nearly tried to ransack a small Victorian child's room, but robot. I take the robot as you do. Poor little guy. I was starting to have a lot of fun with him. Scooby, check out the sharp metal pieces that came out of that thing. What is this? Oh, it's a bunch of cheese, isn't it? The skin of the cheese is too tough to chew. We need something to sharp to open it with. It's good. Where do we land in cheese? Having our what? It would take days to move it all. And we can't biscuit. Oh my god. Shards. Yep, and we take the shards. And we use it to cut open the cheese. Are you ready for some cheesy goodness, Scoop? Rare. It's so warm. It's just warm, warm cheese. I'm sure made quick work through that cheese. And it's just left out, so it's gotta go off. There's a door behind all this cheese. I sure hope there's something to drink in there. My god, also, aren't dogs like. You're not meant to give dogs a lot of cheese, are you? I think we might do this electrical tape later on. And iron. There's some clean supplies and a ghost costume in here. But I bet Helga knows what this is about. Why would I need to wash my Why would I need to wash my clothes? Jesus Shaggy. Dryer. My clothes aren't wet. Towel. Oh! This could be useful. I'll take a towel, take some soap. I wonder if I could use the exploding studs to get Helga out of her room for a while. And then we put them in and then Helga can get can come out. Uh oh. They hide. Or do we go and then we go tell Helga about it? Do we tell her we broke into a young boy's room and then got like uh which got the breaker? I'm just a few seconds away from my high score. No Yes man. I think the breaker's yelling at me. Uh now the power's back, I'm turning the power off, because, you know, levers use all. Nothing happened, I don't think there's any power running to them. Try to turn the breakers back on. Wait, so do we have to walk into that, this child, the small child's room before we can get back down there? Wait, we'll tell Helga about the Somewhere the mess downstairs in the laundry room. Oh my! And she's off with her dodgy sprite. Look at this mess. I'll find the temperature and eat him. Oh my god! I don't even think cannibalism to be brought up in the fucking Scooby Doo game. The lock box is locked. Right. So just need to get back to the sort of mess. Oh. Right. So back to. Back down into the basement, so where's that little Victorian child? Let's go batter him. Let's go have a go at, have a go, have a go at this for his video game. Fun game? Not really, I figured out a pattern that works really well, so it's not very challenging. What kind of pattern? Watch this, if I get three, two, one, and then the one I'm looking for is, uh, the, the one I need is two. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. There we go, right, fall back down there. And... Right, now I mean do... Right, catch a Helga. So... What I need to do is... There's... What I do is I turn the breaker off. And use the, I think tape. Uh, need to find the wires that are. We need to find the electrical wires that are a grinder. 
I don't need to make a key. There's the wires. Something I need something more in my hands just to hold them together. No, you don't, Shaggy. Just don't be a coward. That should do it. There we go, then we can use the left we can turn the left key on then turn the lever. Now the power's back on. Here we go. Something's moving. Jinkies, what's happening? My glasses, I can't see without my glasses. Right, and now we go find Velma's glasses. Because it wouldn't be a Scooby Doo thing if Velma didn't lose her glasses. So I remember there was this, uh, I think it was a. Oh, glasses! There we go. These will be great for the costume. Oh my god, poor Velma. She can't even see, and I'm just. Talk to Velma. Like, Velma, what are you doing? Shaggy? Shaggy, is that you? Do you know where my glasses are? Um, no. Oh my god, Shaggy, you prick. We've just stole this poor woman's glasses and just leaving her. And she's literally just completely blind. Oh, use the book. What the hell? I know we've just went, uh, no, we don't have your glasses, and she and she's just so she's blind, you know? I said stealing a wheelchair. Yeah, just throw you out, you don't need it. Wonder what it is. Oh, did you hear, like, early a door opening somewhere? See, I heard some, but where is it? I wonder what that is. Uh, do I use the book? Secret corridor, levels employees. I've never been so interested in a book before. The room feels like it's moving. Yes, but where would it be moving? Like, where's the door? Oh, maybe it if the room's moving? No, 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 I was wrong. Right, I know about... Wait, a cheese book? Right. Right, maybe that's moved the door. So then I can go check the door. The room is moving. Wait, is there a secret door somewhere, or...? Now in Velma just... I know like, the emulator is a bit funny, so that's why Velma's model looks a bit awkward. Right, so the, the room's moving. Right, oh, cool. How do I stop it moving? I wonder what that is. Right, so we can't do anything with Velma because Velma's sitting there completely blind and completely useless. The only thing we can do is... Book. Right, so it sounds like it stopped moving. Or maybe I shut the door and then... Right, so... Right, so I'll shut that and then so I'll do it so it's moving. Oh, here we go. Zoinks, a secret room. Just taking a look. What's in the sack? There's a lab coat in here. What's in the trunk? There's a key in here. Uh, lab coat doesn't seem to work. The glasses doesn't seem to work. Oh well. And then we'll put the book back so we get. The room's back to normal. Oh, is the room still moving? Right. There we go. I think as it was a time thing, I thought it was... Right, so, because I was just looking what to do and where to do go. 
But obviously I've just got a key, so I need to use the key in the lockbox to tell Helga about the mess. Oh, I think I might have fucked this. Oh, right, so I need to go make the mess with the soap again. Because she's like, oh, you don't know anything about the mess, do you? So I'll go... Right, where's the small Victorian child? Where is he? Fun game? All oh, right, we get it. Talk about the game. Three, two, one. Oh, none yet. Also, is that like... Is that a Triple H there? There's a ninja there. And right, then we fall through the trap door. We get the soap suds going. Also, she's not wondering what happened to the copious amount of cheese that we had. Next time we put the soap in the washer or whatever. There we go, so we've ruined we've ruined everything. Then we run away. Then we go tell Helga about it. Helga leaves and then we can open up the lockbox. Right, Helga, how you doing? Right, so she goes to clean up the mess. Says so she'll eat them. Uh, lockbox. Key. Eureka, a fake moustache. As you do, people just leave, you know, plenty of fake moustaches just lying about. Right, and I think we've got all the disguise. Yeah, we do. And a plenty of our stuff. That I'm sure will come handy later on. It's, wait, is Fred completely useless in this chapter? Let's have a gander. Door. It's locked. Vent. If I could remove it, I'd never fit through it. Aye, it's a bit sort of like Maniac Mansion, is how like, it's very, very sort of linear in how you do it, if you know what I mean. But you get the option to do it a lot more, so you spend most time just wondering about every character going, the fuck do I do? Right, uh, lab, here we go. And then we can go in the lab. They won't even know it's me. Chapter 3. Chemo Sabotage. Oh, I don't know about that, Shaggy. I don't know about this one. If there's one thing you probably shouldn't, shouldn't sabotage, it's that right, so... Here we go, let's have a wee gander about. Oh. Who's this fucking egghead? We want to continue with the beauty potion. Experiment for a long time, we've been completely given up. <laughs> fucking Wario laugh here. Until he's praising the sun there. Until you came around. Key. I can't take it when my robotic alter ego is watching. Can I talk to them? I'm sure he'd chase me out of here if I taunt them, but I'd find a better way to shake him first. You're not programmed for this experiment. Return to your post. I was just leaving. Right, so I need to find out a way to outrun my robot pal there. Lights. I need something to stand on to reach it. Oh, well. The sausage is too soft to support my weight. I wasn't looking at this. The stool? Why are you calling the stool a sausage? Door. Look. Some get sell. Is anybody in there? Shaggy, why'd you lock me in here? Oh, oh was it wasn't me. Dr. Jeff got to staff a handsome robot that will look like your, that will look yours truly. With a lab coat and a moustache. I look just like them. Uh, can I open up? No, I need to get the key from in there, don't I? Right. Oh, I see. So this is like the... Scoop. What door should we use now? It's like the fucking... I will say this does... This looks familiar. This does a really good job in emulating the sort of... You know, like Scooby-Doo would do the bit where they run in all the doors back and forth and like they pop at the same ones. Because the original Scooby-Doo was really cheaply made, like really cheaply made, but I think most Hanna-Barbera cartoons were. Because Hanna-Barbera stuff, well, this looks familiar, used to release like, even when Scooby-Doo came out they had so many knockoff Scooby-Doo shows where it was like, 
hip kids and blank, you know. They had one that was a shark, I can't remember. They had one that was a talking car that the kids solved mysteries in, and they had one. He was a bit different, but Captain Caveman, if anyone remembers him. Bit, like, very similar to Scooby-Doo, it became a sort of formula that they copied. But Scooby-Doo is a franchise that have not been, they've been willing to experiment a little bit more with. So you get ones that are a lot better, like Mystery, Mystery Incorporated, a fucking phenomenal show. They basically went, what if it was Scooby-Doo, but like Twin Peaks, and we actually cared about the storyline and the characters, and it's so good. Like, so good. Oh, a flower. Flower shark? What kind of freezer is this anyway? So after you turn on the microwave without anything in it, I bet I'll try it with the Insta Freeze. But yeah, and then Mr. Incorporated. Well, it's not like it got cancelled at brand, it's course, but Cartoon Network done all it could to sabotage it, basically. I don't know how to use this crazy machine. Can we change to anyone else, or is it just Fred still useless, caught up in the thing? Velma is completely confused. I don't know if beak with this beaker. Can I put a sausage in the beaker? I can't. Flask. Take flask. I don't have any use for a flask. Imagine this uses for this is for Velma this room. So I'm looking for a way to outrun my robot pal. Right, so I've had a wee gander about. So I'm just looking, look at the flower, and I use. Oh right, I see what to do. So you see all the stuff I went and picked up around the, the house. That stuff you're meant to do. So I put the sausage in the freezer, as as you do. This should do the trick. The sausage is frozen solid. It will definitely hold my weight now. Oh, so then I can put the. I can then put the so the frozen sausage as part of the chair, I guess. Uh, as you do. Well, that didn't work, but... I need something to stand on to reach it. Whoops, dropped it. The sausage a dodd and won't be able to support a weight anymore. Scoob, Scooby, will you find a way to freeze it again? Uh, do I need to go back to the... Yeah, maybe if I actually got like a wooden, like a wooden leg as opposed to just freezing sausages, they're useless. Uh, there goes a frozen sausage again. Right, I'll try the same thing again. Uh. Right, so I'm finished with that, obviously. I hope no one notices. Put a sausage on a, sto a stool, yeah, it's exactly how you do it. Do I maybe... Is that maybe got him stuck? Not stuck, but... Oh, you got to give the same speech about, you'll never get away with this. No, no, it's a harmful experiment, my dear. It won't hurt a... <laughs> Praise the fucking sun. Yes, man. A bit. Oh, fuck. Bring me the brain scanalyzer. One, 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 zero, 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 one. So he's talking mad binary codes. Thank you. So I think what I have to do is see how the boy was like, oh, the code's like three, two, one. I think I have to run through the doors in that order. I'll just try and grab the key. Right, so I need to get the robot chasing me. Robot. I'm sure he chased me out of air if I thought him, but I, I know a way. Right, actually, I think I need to just go through the doors. So, what was the order? So it was 3, 2, 1, 2, I think. 3, 2,
Oh! Got a lamp. I have no use for an oil lamp. Potion. I'd rather not. Who knows what Dr. Jekyll has used it for? Okay, just don't neck the strange potions lying about. Fucking shut the door. Right, uh. So there's nothing to do in here. Let's have a wee gander at the guide. Because, you know, your dad's a bit stuck now. Right, so, oh. So I need to do the... Do I need to do it on each of the lights? I do. Whoops, I dropped it. Right, the sausage is thawed. Do I need to do this for every single one of the lights? Oh god, this is going for ages, but I can't actually access that light. So, I think... Let's get, a, let's get the frozen sausage again. Like, it's such cartoon logic, isn't it? And why would you think as a kid to... Oh, I know what I'll do is I'll, I'll put the sausage in the freezer and then I can stand on the frozen sausage. Well, I think this is the lights I need to do. Oh, got it. The sausage is thawed. It's okay, we've got the... We've got a light tube. The light's been powered without wires. What can I possibly do without that? I guess I'll just smash a light tube over the robot's head. That'll work. Shaggy's going all fucking deathmatch wrestler. And so I'm just, re I'm just reading what to do here. Eventually, it won't break. Use it, go through one of the numbered robot sequence and choose the appropriate door to go through. Right, so that's the kid went, or they go one, two, three, I can't remember. One, two, three, two, or three, two, one. Right, so I'll try three. Two, one. Right, so I think it's, I put three and then two. But the thing is, is I can't control this segment. Right, so I'm very confused now. Right, so if I go one, and then let them do the sequence, and go through two. No, right, so I'll go through three. Hmm. Right, so I went one, two, three, four, two, I think it was, kids said. Right, fuck it, we're going back to the, we're going back to the wee kids. It's going to take a wee while. I food them freezes after two seconds. Exactly. Well, like, we're not standing on our food, so what do we know? Right, so... We just need to head back to the thing. We'll go find Velma. Because she's probably in a lot of danger right now. She, either she's not moved at all and is in, having a panic attack, and like mid cat, probably catatonic at this rate, or uh, she's wandering about and fell doing something. Fun game. Right, so what's the pattern? One, three, two, one, three, two, three, go. Cool. One, three, two, three. Hi, Velma. Velma, check out this light I found. Light? You didn't make a mess, did you? 
No, why is it filling up when it's not plugged up into anything? Jinkies, the Tesla coil in the background must be powering it. Tesla coil is sending power through the air. Could that be what's powering the robot guards in the lab? It must be. If you can find a room where the light doesn't light up, then get the guards to chase you. They'll become powerless. Scoop, we better go find that room. So do I need to now go and test every single room. Go back to the lab and into the room with the... All oh, right. Cool. What was the code for the kids? Was it one, three, two? Oh, actually, I'll go check it again. Right. Does it change, or am I just? And then I'm, I'm going to take a note of this because I need to chase the robot through into the fun game. Right. You find a pattern. What's the pattern? Four. Four. One. Four, right, four, four, one, four. Go. Cool. We've got that in mind. Right, and that's how we get the guard. We turn the guard off. Right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, I've got I keep getting stuck on things there. Right, and to the lab. Right, now that's 4414, I think it is. Let's go get that robot's attention. Oh, you're your arsehole. True chase me if I taunt to them. Oh, I need to go test the, test the room, don't I? So that's 4414. Hi, Megan, did you... Did you try and put Lily in there or was it just a tentacle? Four. Right, what door should we go now? Wait. Wait, it's changed since it. There we go. Right, and then try the... This room's shielded because of the effect... Shielded from the effects of the Tesla coil. Right, cool. And then now we need to go get the robot and get him into that room. If I can remember the code, which I think I go into 4... 1... No, 4, 4, 1, 4. And this is where the fucking Scooby-Doo is. Uh, usual, excuse me. Cough coming under. Here goes nothing. Yes, man, get. Yoo hoo! Stop into the hole. Aye! Here we go. And we're just getting chased down by. A the fucking CEO killer there, by the looks of it. Right, so. No, wrong, wrong door. Do I just keep trying? Something tells me I'm not going to be in any mortal danger here. Right, so we need to... The hitbox on four is a bit funny. I do the robot went. Oh, so I need to do it in one go, right. So it's four I need to go into, because I made the mistake of going into three there. Right, so I imagine this segment's going to take me a wee while. Right, and then I'm going to four. Four. And then I'm going back into four, I think. One. Mm, wrong one. Ah, oh, far fuck, right. Wait, what's, it? what's the boy's code? Wait, we need to go all the way back and check the wee boy's code. And then we can outrun the robot.
Right, where's the where's the wee Victorian child? Let's go have a wee gander. Let's go find him out. Because I thought it'd be like a fixed sort of. It's probably got like you know tons of di different ones, but it seems to be almost random the way it changes. Right. Can't get stuff in that door, right? So we have to remember this one. Fun game? Yeah, we get it, you creepy wee child. Right, the parting is two, one, three, two, one, three, one. 21, 31, cool, let's go. Hope it doesn't change in the time that he's. It's good that he's not moving, just sitting playing that game the whole time. Also, this is, is his uncle. And he's got Helga, the maid. Right, here we go. So, I forgot 21, 31, that was it, yeah. Right, so go distract the robot. Here we go, just. Pardon me, boys. Oh, my, my tummy's upset. I just see the wee mic thing going up there as I'm burping. I'm so sorry, it's grotty of me. 21, 31, wasn't it? Yeah. No! Fuck! Oh, we're gonna be here all day, I can tell. Come on, have, a, have the same order. Come on. Fucking Dexter from Dexter's Labs chasing us, right? Three. I mean, I've got a 1 in 4 chance of getting it right, so... A 25% chance, so I'm going to do 3. Yes, man, we did it! Literally just guessing. And the robot breaks. Zoint scoop, I guess that takes care of him. No, it's sabotage the experiment. Let's go save Daphne. Let's fucking go, boysies. And do we take the key and talk to the mad scientist? EMC equals squared. EM equals MC squared. Xander. Okay. Talk to the fucking egghead here. Mad scientist. We gab. Ha ha ha. Bring me the ingredient list for the skin absolver. Wait, sorry, what? The skin absolver? Right, uh. Okay, at least talk to Daphne. She's stuck in that machine. I just need to go find the ingredient list for the skin absolver. Oh god. That sounds pretty grim. Right, and where would the... Where, if I was a skin absolver, where would I keep it? Actually, what I'll do is I'll use the key on Fred to break him. It doesn't seem to work. Oh well. Right, not going in there, because... All right, so use the key in the locked door. Oh, I see. I see where I have to go, right? Don't know why you'd ever think to do that unless you were literally testing everything. So I have to go back to the house. I have to grab the labeler and then use the labeler on the skin absolver and change it to, or something else, you know, to mess up the experiment. That's adventure game logic for you. Right, uh... Use a key in the door. There we go. Cabinet. Labeler. Take. I'll say every letter is broken apart from... No, yeah. A, D and N. I'll take it, but I'm not sure you're so... Maybe if my name's... My name was Dan.
in the cabinet? Nah. Right, so we've got the labeler. And we are heading... Go back to the corridor with the clock and open the locked door. Use the pen. Right. Where's the corridor with the clock? Let's have a gander. So we... Are we wander about? Oh, here. And there's a locked door and use the key on that. It should be all the keys in the house. No, all the doors in the house open. Pen. I don't have anything paper to write on. Oh, and then I can use the... Sorry. The labeler? Where's the labeler? There, now it's bottle of cow extract. Now it reads Dan extract. No, 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 I've used the pen on the extract, maybe. Yeah, but you've got a label. Come on, come on, Shaggy, come on. One of those crazy astronaut pens. Right, so I put I put Dan extract on it. So right, so can I take the pen or do I need? Right, let's go. Talk back. Let's go back to the scientist because it should have had an extract but because Shaggy doesn't want to write on it or maybe I've accidentally used the labeler first and now it says Dan extract when I should be giving them the skin that was over so I've got a feeling this is going to go tits up worst comes to worst we're taking our walk over to the the wee pen in there right so we are heading and here and we're talking to the mad scientist and we'll give him the Dan extract. At least it's obvious it's not cow extract. What is cow extract anyway? So, there's a gab. Hmm, I could make a label for this little bottle. It already says Dan extract. Good boy, it's a full game now. Oh, nice. Right, so. Is that out full, on, uh, fully released? Ooh, nice. When's Bear and Breakfast coming out for the Switch? That should be coming out soon, shouldn't it? Got plenty of games to play. The 12th? Oh, did you count? Oh, a week? Is that a game you're most excited for now? Who needs God of War when you've got fucking Bear and Breakfast? I guys remember seeing the trailer for it at like uh, one of the one of the game awards shows and being like, "Man, some man's gonna fucking love this, right?" So, right. So it's a skin extract from right in the sausage. Right. So I'm just checking. Use the pen, right? I use the pen. Go back to the lab and talk to the mad scientist twice. Do I have any paper to write on? What he says? Uh, oh, sorry, I remember now. There's paper in the kitchen, I think. Oh, there was. I'm making up, am I making up the fact that there was paper in the kitchen? I'm sure someone had a note. I really hope I've not got myself in that unwinnable because I picked up a note with another character. I'm not sure what time to set it to. Uh, use the key. Oh well, it doesn't work. Slap it with a sausage. Right, 
right, there's a bookshelf. Just grab some paper out of there. So I'm just checking up on the thing. Uh, use the pen, go back to the lab and talk with Mad Scientist twice. Use the labeler and talk once more to the scientist. Yeah, but it's not Dan extra I'm giving them, it's the skin absolver or whatever it is. Can I just take a pen with me? I'll go talk to the mad scientist again and hope it goes well. I don't want to play this for. I've been playing this game for an hour and a half. My god. I think it's the longest anyone's ever played this game for. But we're beating it. I promise you, we're beating this game. I'll go talk to the mad scientist twice. Wait, a bottle says Dana extract. Wait, I'm I'm fucking lost, my god. If I had my phone, like, so I... Okay, I made a mistake and I fucking uh, dropped my phone. My phone screen's off crack, so it's the way I'm getting worked on. But normally in this situation, I'd be sitting there with my phone underneath me, looking up a guide or whatever. I've got a guide here on my tablet, but it's not quite the same. It's not as wieldy as my phone. And plus the guide is just telling tell me, use the pe uh, pen, which I don't know if I've... I'm just going to have another gander about to see if I've... Right. I don't have any paper to write on. Uh... I'm just using it anything. Right, I'm sure... Right, I'm going to change the thread to see if he's... Oh, they've all got a shared inventory, don't they? Oh! Paper. Kind of paper on the wall. Vent. I think we get it. You can't remove it. Door. Locked. Right, Shaggy and Scooby. Here we go. Right, so I'm looking for something to write on, it says. Bridge. I think all the ice cream I think it told. It's not a symbol. That's already been opened, so... Sink. Maybe I can wash off the label. Right, so I'm confused. Hmm. And this is a Game Boy port of, well, not really a port, but a separate game, basically, of a. Uh, niche license game so I doubt there's even like you know when you're stuck in like Dark Souls or something like that or any sort oh there's a note you're looking a bit scrawny yeah. right we get it so that's it I could write a fake recipe for skin over in the back of this note I don't need to get rid of Helga again oh yeah because whenever I talk to her she says you're a bit scrawny but I'll tell you what I'm going for a pee, so I'm just going to... What we'll do is... We will do a little break here. So... I need to... Uh, what I'll do is I'll... Pause here. And we'll go onto this screen. And we'll be back in a couple of minutes, because... I need to pee. <laughs> 